it's a pleasure, it's, a, it's an honor, and I think it's also a validation of not only the great work being done, but also the problem that we solve. So we're very thrilled to be here. Let's talk about your product. You're in the cloud space, yes. but with a unique position. That's correct. And you target uh, financial markets. That's correct. We are, we are in the cloud space. Our vision is to protect our customers' data in the cloud. And therefore, our target segment are companies in the financial space, companies in regulated verticals, such as healthcare. Uh, we also have customers internationally who are very interested in adopting cloud innovation, cloud applications. But at the same time, they want to protect their information in the cloud. And we provide a unique technology to enable that. Because there are other companies in the space who are doing cloud. Mm -hmm. What is the one big distinction between you and the others? We are the only company that provides a technology that allows organizations, Fortune 1000 organizations, to adopt cloud applications, applications like Salesforce, applications like Chatter for collaboration, applications like Gmail for messaging. But we enable them to do that while protecting their data in the cloud. So the customers have control over their data using our encryption technology, using our Cypher Cloud Gateway to do that. So they can use the innovation of the cloud applications, but feel secure that the data is safe. And this is a major hurdle to adopting cloud applications by Fortune 1000 companies, and we eliminate the hurdle. You know, for, for those of the budding entrepreneurs who come in and droves to a conference like Taiwan, which is the largest in the world by the entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. how do you get clarity when you're in such a big space? Finding your niche and finding your footing takes time. So I'm trying to uh, lead by example you guys, mm -hmm. you know, so they can learn something. Absolutely. I think this is a great question. Uh, I think there's a few things. I think one is you have to have a clear vision of the problem you're solving. You need to validate the problem by having the right kind of feedback. So we went and talked to CIOs, the chief security officers of companies, and we said, what is your problem in adopting this cloud revolution? And they said, I'm not secure upon my data. So we had real clear clarity. Uh, then the second thing was getting the team together that could really solve this very significant problem in a very unique way without breaking the application. So really knowing that you can solve the problem was fundamental. And then I think it's one customer at a time. So we're getting the first set of validation customers who become thrilled with your technology and you take it one step at a time with one customer, one partner. There's a lot of work, there's a lot of fun. Uh, you were with Microsoft before. That's correct. Uh, you also went to McKinsey. That's correct. Uh, and now you're with the startup. Yeah. So share us uh, the lessons of, of a journey from a big firm like Microsoft to the most blue blooded consulting firm in the world, McKinsey, and now the startup. It's a, you know, it's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, I think there are some commonalities. I think uh, in all these organizations, uh, large, as you said, a consulting technology to a startup, uh, one is passion. I've seen that in McKinsey in terms of passion for customer excellence. So that in Microsoft, passion for building products. And you have the same in a startup. I think the difference is, is speed. The difference is having that feeling that you can do whatever you want to do. And I think sometimes in large organization, you have processes and other things because they're a certain scale. But in a startup, it's a very different scale. You, I can get up in the morning and choose what to move, how to move forward, which customers to go win. Uh, it's a very clear link between me and my end customer. Uh, obviously, that will get more complicated as the company continues to grow. Uh, but at the, at the fundamental, I think, is a passion for solving a problem for a customer. I think that is true across all the companies I work with. That's very much true in a startup because you exist to solve a problem. Was adaptability a challenge? It takes a bit of time. It takes a bit of time when, when, when you are the executive, but you're the one making every call, you're the one making every customer presentation. But it's, it's at the end of the day, if, if you enjoy that experience, it's thrilling. Because it is you who's trying to convince the customer of the value proposition. There's nobody else. And I think that is liberating. Uh, it's not for everybody, but I think I've had great fun doing it. Again, Dave, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. A pleasure. Bye-bye.